Want to make your wand look like the Sword of Gryffindor? No? How about the Master Sword? Let's get that done by installing some PC mods. As always, be sure to pause the video if you need to, because we're going to go quick. So here's what you need. Your Steam Deck or Windows machine. You knew that. A Nexus Mods account. We'll go over how to set one up. A USB flash drive. This is optional and only if you want to transfer a large amount of mods. Step 1. On your Steam Deck, hit the Steam button to pull up the menu and enter desktop mode. Alternatively, hold the power button for a few seconds to pull up the same menu. For Windows users, skip ahead to step 3. Step 2. Once in desktop mode on your Steam Deck, open the Discover Software Center in the bottom left corner. Search for ARC in the top left search bar and hit install on the right side. That'll allow you to open zip, rar, and .7zip files easily. Skip ahead now to step four. Step three, on your Windows device, install 7zip from 7-zip.org or by Googling 7-zip. Download the .exe at the top of the page and go through the steps to install it. Step four, click the Steam icon on the desktop on your deck. For Windows, open up Steam to show your library. Whichever device you're on, you should see something like this. Step five, navigate to Hogwarts Legacy from the library menu. Right click the title, hover over manage, then left click and browse local files. For deck users, your window will look a little different, but the file structure should all be the same. Now open Phoenix, then content, then packs, and create a new folder titled tilde mods. Mine is already here. Many, but not all mods will go into this folder. Let's go get those mods. Step six, create a Nexus Mods account. If you've done this already, go ahead and skip to step seven. In a browser, search for Nexus Mods Hogwarts Legacy or go to www.nexusmods.com slash Hogwarts Legacy. Create an account by selecting the icon in the top right corner. It might also say register or log in. Then by selecting the register button, go ahead and follow the steps to get registered by entering your email. After you've completely signed up for the account, you'll then need to sign in. Step seven, if you get pushed back to the landing page or if you are not on Nexus Mods Hogwarts Legacy, make sure to go to www.nexusmods.com mods.com slash Hogwarts Legacy. If you're familiar with how Nexus Mods works, go ahead and skip to step eight. If you're new to the whole modding scene, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the layout as pretty much every game's landing page looks like this. You can scroll down to look through popular mods or under the mods tab, look for specific types of mods like in mod categories or to see what is most endorsed or most downloaded. Let's get the no cooldowns mod, which has had a recent update. After selecting the mod, scroll down and look for the installation instructions to confirm the location. As long as it's the same folder like the one we created in step three, you're good. Otherwise, you might have to deviate off course a little by replacing the files in different folders. In that case, it would probably be a good idea to copy the same files before you overwrite them. Step eight. On the page of the mod that you're going to download, in this case, the no cooldowns mod, click on files, then manual download. Download that file usually a .zip or a .rar file. Once downloaded, open it using ARC or 7-zip discussed earlier in steps two and three. Then copy past of the mod into that tilde mods folder that we created in step five. You can also place the mods into a folder and name it whatever you like. This is a better way to keep organized so that if you don't like the mod, you can just simply delete it. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're modding something like a wand, only one thing will show at a time. So try not to have both a Godric sword and a master sword. But if your mods do different things, you should be good. Step nine, you're done. Let's go check out the mod in action. Yeah. Spamming spells is exactly what I like to see. Why does a wizard have cooldowns anyway? This is definitely how it was meant to be played or abused, one or the other. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Check out the links in the description to support the channel and see you again for more games, gadgets, and guides. GG.